Hans Neiman, yes, that Hans Neiman, the cheating scandal of Hans Neiman, has been absolutely cooking on chess.com recently. In this video, I'll be taking a look at an absolutely stunning blitz game played against Daniel Naroditsky on chess.com, where he gets three brilliant moves, including sacrificing his queen in an absolutely crazy way. Let's just jump into it. So Hans immediately decides to go c4. Looks like a positional move, normally more positional approach to the game, but this game is anything but positional, which you're going to see. I'm going to fast forward through this. This is kind of basically mainline theory. And Hans decides to go with, with this b4 idea, trying to grab a bit of space on that queen side. Again, a positional idea. Now, in this case, seen this before, pushes, takes, takes, takes with the knight, recouping the pawn. I don't know why this gave it brilliant, to be honest. So after rook takes, the, Daniel's basically arguing he can put pressure on this e2 pawn, which Hans cannot defend. So we see he gets a bishop out attacking the queen. I've highlighted here, you don't want to push because your bishop just dies. So the queen moves out the way. Again, pressure on this pawn. Hans doesn't care. He reinforces his queen side. Of course, don't want to drop that pawn on c4, but you are going to drop this pawn on e2. So now Dixie obliges, capturing. Hans immediately jumps into the game. Knight d4, attacking that rook. Rook slides out of the way. Hans has this weird engine idea, which he can go f4. The rook is meant to go to e3. And he goes f5. And the bishop takes, of course, you win the bishop. Nice positional here. The queen side is completely busted. If you recapture, now this is going to be a problem. So of course, you don't want to do that. And now your king's side is getting open. It's just messy, you know? Hans decides not to go for this, though. Hans has decided to play knight to b5, going for this deadly royal fork. And now Ditsky allows it. He captures the bishop. The fork comes in. But he's going to say, hmm, after you take that rook, how are you going to get a knight out of there? I'm just going to win the game. Hans, sorry. Queen moves out of the way. Grabs that rook. Now he's up in material. Now Ditsky thinks, oh god, I've got to get my knight in the game. Brings it out to a6. Hans goes c5. Again, try and sort of create a pass pawn on the queen side using his pieces. You're going to play where you're stronger. He's doing that beautifully. d5, shutting it down. We see d, uh, sorry, b5 hitting that knight. And now Ditsky decides not to move the knight out of the way. Instead, he counterattacks Hans' queen with bishop to g4. But this leaves Hans with a devastating move. Any normal chess player would move their queen. They'd play queen d2, not Hans. He goes captures the knight on the edge of the board, completely sacrificing his queen. We see, now he takes, Hans doesn't even take back, he takes on b7, arguing these pawns are so strong, how are you going to stop them? Who is going to stop these past pawns? Hans is going to get that queen back and simply be up in material. Now Naroditsky decides to save his bishop, but as you can see, it's so unclear. These two bishops, they can both swing into the game, try and stop these pawns from promoting, so Hans has to play extremely accurately here, and he does. He goes c6, the best move. See now Naroditsky again, try and stop that queening square. Hans pushes, defended by the knight, c7. Now that pawn is one square away from queening, but the problem is, now that his pieces coordinate fairly well in stopping them. Of course, he captures. Now that he captures with the rook, and now we see the queen slides out of the way, completely trying to blockade that pawn on b7. But Hans is still unfazed. He goes f4, hitting the rook. The rook just moves out of the way, and he goes rook to e1, now threatening a devastating check on that back rank. But he has to prepare it first, and the way he prepares it is beautiful. So now that he pushes a pawn, and he goes rook to c8, check. Another beautiful, brilliant move. Of course, the bishop can take, which he does. Bishop takes, and now again, precision. Rook e8, check. What a move. King has to slide out the way. And after you queen, now that's key is just down a few pieces. He checks, tries to get some sort of play in the position. Hans brings the rook back, safeguards the king. And eventually, now that's key has to bring his queen back into the game. Hans trades that off with a check. Queen takes, after rook takes, basically the rook trade is forced. The rook can maybe slide up to h6, so it's going to be dead. These pawns are going to be absolutely munched. And Hans is just up two pawns in the end game. So hopefully you enjoyed that game. Absolutely brilliant win from Hans. It's good to see what he's doing in chess after a bit of a scandal. You love to see comeback stories like this. So if you enjoyed that video, subscribe to the channel. I've got more content coming soon. Leave a like, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one.